So to find the scapholuneate ligament, we're going to find that Lister's tubercle again, the dorsal aspect of the wrist. You've got the third, or sorry, the second compartment there, and the third is coming over the top. You're going to roll down, and then you're looking for the lunate on the left, and the scaphoid on the radial aspect on the right. And it's that small little V-shape in the middle there. Now you can see those echogenic uh, aligned fibres bridging between the two bones there. And that's the dorsal fibres of the scapholuneate ligament. So there's different components to this ligament. Ultrasound can only show you really the dorsal fibres. So it's not a total way of viewing this ligamentous complex, but it does give you a good idea. And if you come across that region and there's a gap in uh, a loss of normal appearance of those dorsal fibres, then you are probably going to look to go on to, to further investigate with MR or for further investigation to, to further assess that ligament in more uh, detail. But that's how you find your scapholuneate. So literally just find your listers, roll down, maybe drop a little bit more around to the ulnar aspect, find that little V-shape between the scaphoid and the lunate, and you can see those nice dorsal fibres there.